Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Ran Loading, aka Ran Man, and I am back with another video. Now, as y'all can tell by the title, bro, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. I didn't think I was gonna make a video about this. Not only once, the first time I dropped, I was like racism, but the second time, bro, is like. This is crazy. I don't even want to hold y'all up too much, but I, I just woke up, bro, and it's early. It's 4.50 in the morning, bro. Let me show y'all if it focuses. Focus, 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 focus. Focus. But yeah, as y'all can see, it's 4.50 in the morning, bro. I just woke up and I was like, I need to make some videos. So I was like, let me just talk about this experience I had at work yesterday. So basically, I'm not going to hold y'all up. Before you even get started, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm currently at 5.4K. My goal is to hit 50K subscribers by the end of the year. So that's something I'm gonna need y'all help with. So make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe right now. If you're new, like my video right now and leave a comment, bro. Interact with me. Y'all don't comment on none of my videos. I don't like none of my videos. Y'all don't watch none of my videos. It's like, if you're subscribed, show some support, bro. But I'm gonna go ahead and just dive into the video and just explain everything that's happening. So boom, yesterday, what was yesterday? Yesterday, February, <clears throat> yesterday, February 26, um, was a Sunday and I was at work. So most of you guys, I know I'm a security guard for Ally Universal. Um, and I work at a Walgreens. So basically what I do is just walk around and make sure people don't steal. So yesterday around, um, I want to say around seven o'clock, eight o'clock ish, like eight forty, eight fifty. Um, some dude had came in. You know, he was looking suspicious. I looked at his hands, and he had like some type of paint on his hands, but I didn't pay it no mind. You know, as he walked before he walked in, a lady walked in before him, and she called me, and she was like, "Come here, come here." I was like, "What's up?" And she was like, "Come here, come here." She was walking me around the whole damn store. She walked me all the way to the toy. I was like, I didn't want to say this in front of the customers. And I was like, what's up? She was basically like, it's a guy outside who's spray painting on the walls. And at first, me at first, I was like, okay, what they got to do with me? I don't care. But I didn't say that to her. I was like, okay. I was like, thank you for letting me know. And I walked off. I went back to the front and the dude that happens to come in now at first I didn't know that he was the one that spray that was spray painting outside. So he comes in, you know, I could I just you know you can just look at people who just looks like you know what I'm saying they're gonna steal you know what I'm saying. So he walks in, I instantly look at him. I'm charging my phone. I take my phone off the charger. I walk towards where he's walking. Um, he's in the can. He walks towards the candy aisle. So as he walks towards the candy aisle, I walk towards that the aisle right before the candy aisle. As I'm walking, I'm seeing him with um, nerds, two packs of nerds, and I've seen him with some Twixes and sneakers. i see him snuff the Twixes and the sneakers in his pocket. As he stuff in his pocket, he walks out the aisle and he walks towards the, um, towards the aisle where the um, refrigerator drinks are. So as he walking towards the aisle, I come out the aisle and I walk up to him, I'm like, bro, I seen you stealing, bro, just take it out your pocket. And he's like, it's in my hand. What are you talking about? I'm not still. I'm like, bro. He walks off and I walk back up to him again. I'm like, bro, I know you got something in your pocket. Just take it out. And he starts tapping the other pocket. I'm like, bro, that pocket. So he finally reaches in the pocket and takes off the Twixes that he had in his pocket. I get the Twixes from out his hands and the nerds. And I'm holding my hand. And he started making up excuses. Talking about some, uh, uh, I'm waiting on my cousin. He's supposed to pay for this for me. This, that, and the third. I'm like, how's your cousin paying for something, bro? And you stuffing it in your pocket. Like, make it make sense. So. He's like walking around, calling his cousin name, calling his cousin name, calling his cousin name. Talking about he got long hair. So it's a dude who's in front of the store. He walks up to the dude, starts screaming, like screaming his name. I didn't even know if that was a really a person that he knew. He starts talking to the dude like, uh, I forgot what name he was saying, but he was just screaming at the dude, acting like they really knew each other. So I didn't pay no mind. So I walk off, I go to the manager, you know. As I'm walking around doing my um my walks, I know I have to walk around the store like every 30 minutes or when I see something suspicious. So I'm doing my walk, I still got the candy and stuff in my hand. 
and the manager had walked up and as the manager walking up the dude who I took the candy from ends up walking up to me he's talking to me telling me some every time I come here bro they're always profiling me racially profiling me it's like it's just not cool I got into it with a, a short girl two days before this um she was just like she, and then the manager pulled up he was like is there a manager I could talk to and then the manager walked up right behind me and he was like are you the manager he was like yeah he talked to the manager talking about, talking about some Every time I come here, they're profiling me, talking about some, they're always on me, talking about some, I'm always stealing something, but it's not even me, bro. It's not even me, bro. That's not even me. So the manager, the manager talks back to him. He's like, bro, every time you come in here, you were always stealing and you're always threatening me. Do you not remember me? You don't remember me? The last time you came in here, you, you, you was threatening me, bro. And luckily, someone was in the store with me to stop you, to hold you back from doing anything to me. But you were threatening me. So it's like every time you come in here, bro, you're always stealing. And we know you're stealing. And the dude was like, listen, that's not me. I have a brother, and he's mentally disabled. You know, I just had to kick him out because, you know, he was on drugs. But I'm not on drugs. I'm not on drugs. Like, come on now, bro. He was talking all this stuff. Like, they all was looking at me, racially profiling me. And then it's a short girl. She was here. I could point her out. She called me a broke, a broke bum. And I just went, and I almost slapped the shit out of her. I wanted to slap the shit out of her. And I started laughing at that point, bro. I'm like, bro, you're chatting. I just want to step the shit out of her. And mind y'all, he had a shovel in his hand. They show those shovels in front of the store that you, like, get the snow with. And he had that in his hand, bro. And I'm like, why is you walking around with a shovel, bro? So I'm in the middle between them in case anything happens. And uh, the manager walks off. And the dude walks up to the manager like, yeah, you need to get the customers. The customer needs to stop playing with me before I ended up, you know, having to do something to them for real. Like, they need to stop before I end up, like, busting off them. So... The manager walks off, he's like, okay, cool, whatever. The dude started talking talking to me again, talking about some, yeah, bro, they're always profiling me. It's then a third. That's like them profiling you, bro, because you're black. And I'm like, I'm just like, yeah, bro, I understand. I hear where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after that whole conversation, the dude ends up walking out and leaving. I think he stole the shovel, but I'm not too sure. So um, it was around, it was my break time. It was around 9, 10, so I went on break. All right, so I come back from break. It was like, what, 9.50. I come back from break. I'm standing by the door because I got to close the doors uh, when everybody leave out. So um, it was like six. It was like a black family of six walks in the store in like the last five minutes. So as they walk in and pan for this stuff, they leave out. The manager was outside smoking a cigarette, right? So he tells them, have a nice day, have a nice day. They didn't say nothing back to him. They made a face towards him. And I'm like, damn, that was rude as hell. So as I'm going to go clock out, because my mom was here at this point, it's 10, it's 9.58. So I'm going to go clock out. My mom was outside waiting on me. So I go clock out. Uh, the manager comes up to me. He was like, bro, do you know those people that came here? And I'm like, which ones? He was like, the, the black lady and the black people. I was like, yeah. And he was like, um, bro, you know, when I was like telling them, have a nice day. I figured out why they would, they didn't send up the back to me. I was like, what you mean? He was like, I figured out why they ignored me. And I was like, what you talking about? He was like, bro, when you go outside, you're going to see it. So I ended up clocking out, bro. We go outside. It was spray. It was some spray painted stuff on a wall, bro. It was a Nazi sign. I don't know if I know what a Nazi sign is or the Nazi is. Nazi is basically a bunch of racist people who were from back in the days. Um... You know, those are the people, I think, were the ones who, like, exterminated the Jews and stuff like that. I'm not sure. I think there was the ones who exterminated the Jews, and they're, like, very racist people, bro. And their sign is like this. It's like a sign, like, boom, 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 and then it's like, boom, boom, and then. I'm going to just show y'all. This is a Nazi. For those of you who don't know, this is a Nazi. They're a group of very, very racist people. They're a group of very racist people. Hold on, I have to look up if they racist to black people or not. Yeah, the Nazi was racist to black people. That was the first thing. And he drew arrows, and it was arrows uh, spray painted towards the Nazi sign. Underneath, I think it was 444. And then underneath that, bro, it said KKK only. Yeah, bro. It said KKK only only and he was like bro 
look at this, bro. This is why they didn't say anything back to me. Somebody spray painted the KKK and a Nazi sign on the Walgreens wall. Somebody spray painted that on the Walgreens wall. Like outside on the brick wall, somebody spray painted that. And I was like, yo, that's crazy because it was a lady who, I was like, bro, it was a lady who came in here and pulled me to the side. It was like someone is spray painting outside on the wall. And she told me how the exact person looked. And the person who did it, y'all, was the exact same person that I was making this story time about who was talking about somebody racially profiling him. And the one who I told you I grabbed the candy from in this video, that's the guy who spray painted outside the Nazi sign and the KKK. Because when he first came in, I seen I seen a uh, spray paint on his on his fingers, but I didn't pay no mind. And the lady came in and pulled me to the side before the dude came out. It was like the dude in the next hour was spray painted on the wall. And I didn't know he was spray painting no Nazi sign and the KKK only, bro. Like, that was pretty, that was pretty foul. That was pretty foul, bro. Before I end up editing this YouTube video, when I go back into work today, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to take a picture of the sign or I'm going to record it for y'all and I'm going to insert it in this video so y'all can, so y'all can literally see what I'm talking about. I will do that if. If they didn't um, wash it off already, but I don't think they, I don't think they will by the time I get there. But hopefully they wash that shit off, bro. Because you're not gonna just have a Nazi sign and a KKK only on the fucking wall, bro. Like you gotta wash that off. And for those that don't know, the KKK is a very racist group back in the day who hates black people. They hang black people. They're still KKK members to this day. But yeah, bro, this is a very, like, I never experienced anything like this. In my 20 years of living, I never experienced being racially profiled and then having someone spray paint a Nazi sign and a KKK only at my place of work. Like, n never would I ever thought that would even happen, somebody talking about KKK. Like, I don't know, bro, this is just a very, very weird experience for me. And... I really don't know how to feel about the topic. I don't blame the Walgreens that I work at. They're not racist. Um, they're actually very cool people. So I'm not really worried too much about the situation because that type of stuff don't affect me. You know what I'm saying? If somebody physically don't put their hands on me, then it's like, I really don't care too much. But it's like, I just have to make a video about this, bro, because that is a, a crazy ass like thing, bro. That's a crazy thing. That was a crazy thing, bro. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, bro. I'm going to try to think of some more videos to make for y'all. But if y'all miss something, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And what else is crazy is this is during Black History Month, bro. Like, this is during Black History Month. It is February 27th. Like, bro. But yeah, man, if y'all miss something, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's your boy, Ran Loden, a.k.a. Ram, and I am out.